Hello, welcome to another Trove video. Today, we're going to be talking about the recent Guyana licensing round results. Over to Mike. For those who aren't regular visitors to our channel and haven't been following it, uh, here's where Guyana is, top end of South America. Let's have a look at the uh, the offshore licensing round. Now, this is known as the uh, 2022 licensing round and these were the blocks on offer on the map there were 14 blocks covering an area of somewhere between a thousand three thousand square kilometers 11 blocks in shallow water and three in deep water now it was originally uh, announced back in december 2022 closed april 23 extended extended again and eventually it was announced back in october 2023 44 days from the close of the round until the awards were announced how does that compare to other countries? Well, I think you know where I'm going there. So here's the existing landscape, and you can see the blocks Starbrook, Keita, Kanji, uh, Kanuku, Orunduk, and uh, of course, Quarantine, as well as the onshore Mahika. The currently licensed blocks are in yellow, and you can see there in orange, there's the three deep water blocks in the northeast, and to the southwest, you can see the 11 shallow water blocks. If we have a look at the awards, this is a busy slide, but if we start in the uh, the top left, you can see that CISPRO, uh, they've been awarded the uh, S3 block. We've got a consortium there headed by um, Total Energies, with uh, Qatar uh, Energy and uh, Petronas as partners. Uh, they've gone for the S4 block. Um, also, uh, the S8 block there has been uh, applied for by ExxonMobil, Hess, and CNUC. Now, I think our prediction, and I must uh, eat some humble pie here, I thought that the big boys were going to go for the offshore and the smaller players were going to go for the uh, shallow water. Not quite what's... Uh, happened. So if we uh, have a look at uh, the deep water block D1, that's gone to Delcor Incorporated with partners uh, Watad Energy and Communications and Arabian Drilling Company. CISPRO have gone for the uh, D2 deep water block and uh, I think uh, there haven't been there weren't any applicants for the uh, the D3 block. Now, going back to the shallow water, uh, you can see that uh, the uh, international group investment went for S5. The S7 block went to Liberty with partner Cybel. And international group also went for uh, S10 in the south there. Now, the uh, blocks highlighted in black didn't receive any bids and were not awarded. So... What do we know about CISPRO? Well, I like this company. It's 100% uh, Guyanese, and it's these ladies here who've basically uh, committed to community development, social responsibility, and gender and social equity. The CISPRO have, uh, have gone for two blocks, uh, one in the shallow water, one in the deep water. Um, they are an indigenous energy company in Guyana, and if they want to get in touch, we'd love to feature some of the ideas and thoughts, uh, some of the technical information that they might want to share on the channel. The uh, internet National Group Investment went for S5 and S10 in the south. There's the address. It's a highly diversified service company offering engineering training expertise covering the entire spectrum of oil and gas. Now, um, yeah, if, uh, if you would uh, like to get in touch, we'd like to feature the opportunities available uh, to the industry that uh, you may have identified on your blocks. Look at uh, Liberty Petroleum and their partner Cybel. They went for uh, the S7 block in the shallow water area. Liberty, they're uh, an independent US company active in Australia. Their idea, basically get the acreage award, work it up, uh, and then try and farm it out. Uh, pioneering uh, African oil and gas company Cybel Energy. Well, they're from Ghana and started life as a service company, but they're diversifying into sort of ownership and uh, participating in, in joint ventures. In the past, they've kind of been uh, more focused on oil and gas marginal fields, but this is uh, out and out exploration that they're going for here. So we wish them well. If we look at the uh, the S4 block, uh, this is um, Total Energies with Qatar Energy and Petronas. Not the same group as uh, Starbrook, um, Hess, not part of this grouping. Petronas have uh, presumably stepped in to, to take their place but uh, you know they are involved in uh, other areas Petronas in block 53 for example over in Suriname but here Total Energy's major players Starbrook, Arunduks, Kanji uh, and Canuck blocks also um, another 
they operate in the uh, Suriname Block 58. So um, this is uh, uh, really, uh, they, they must see some potential in this uh, shallow water. And of course, if you've seen some of our previous videos, you know there's oil in the deep, ultra deep water offshore. And then there's oil on the coast in some very, very large um, oil fields that have been known for decades. And uh, it looks likely that uh, the oil has passed through the, the, uh, the shallow basin area, both uh, in Guyana and also down in, um, in in Suriname. So for Qatar Energy and Petronas, it's their first uh, foray in uh, Guyana. And uh, again, we wish this consortium well. Other companies, well, um, we tried to find out about Delcor um, Incorporated, but uh, they seem to have no presence that we could find. Um, it, it appears to be a Guyanese company, but if they want to get in touch and give us some information... Certainly on the technical aspects, we'd be delighted to uh, to carry that in a future video. Watad Energy is uh, Saudi Arabia's leading IT and cybersecurity company. They're certainly looking in new waters. So that's uh, the deep water block there. Um, and along with Arabian Drilling Company, it's, a, it's an interesting consortium. Arabian Drilling is uh, is the leader in the drilling sector in Saudi Arabia. Now, the uh, website shows the company's offshore rigs are all jackups. Um, they're not going to work out here because uh, jackups are only good to about 400 feet of uh, water depth. Uh, the, the water out here is thousands upon thousands of feet. In fact, probably in this region, it's ultra deep. So the next uh, consortium we want to look at is the uh, ExxonMobil, Sinuk and Hess, which is uh, in the process of becoming part of Chevron. But of course, uh, we've already talked about the uh, the ongoing mega merger in, in two videos and well worth a watch if you're not up to date with that. The uh, consortium uh, of established majors. They hold the majority of discovered reserves offshore Guyana. That's in the Starbrook block. And of course, the Lisa Destiny is is up and running and producing. And, and we carry information and news on all of the uh, production opportunities in Guyana. So in other news in Guyana, we have to return to the Starbrook block. And it's uh, the, uh, the Lancet Fish 2 appraisal well, here's Lancet Fish shown here. It's about six and a half kilometers from the Lisa uh, production facility, which uh, is producing. It's a second well that's been successful on Lancet Fish, and uh, it re recorded some 125 foot of net oil pay um, in the um, reservoir target that they were appraising, but they also found uh, as part of that 65 foot of net oil pay in a new interval. Now, uh, they're going to have to obviously appraise this uh, this new accumulation, but it's very, very exciting. This is the fourth uh, offshore discovery in Guyana for 2023. And um, since 2015, there's been a total of 46 discoveries. Now, in 2023, discoveries included the Fangtooth Southeast One, the Lancet Fish One, and in the Quarantine Block, which is this block here, highlighted uh, with the red pointer, is the Way uh, One uh, in the Quarantine Block. Um, so that's uh, the news from the region. We have other videos uh, coming out shortly on this region, Guyana Suriname Basin, and uh, would encourage you to look back in on our channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We want to reach uh, 5,000 plus subscribers and we're not that far away. It doesn't mean any more money for us. In fact, we make uh, basically very, very little from our YouTube channel. But uh, it does help people get to know who Trove are. People can subscribe to our technical uh, subsurface databases. They cover the entirety of this region. In fact, they cover the entirety of the world. We hope to see you back on our channel before too long. Bye for now.